Hey guys, how's it hanging everybody? This is Storm Pow, and I made a video pretty recently sharing with you guys some tips and tricks on how to use social media effectively to grow your live stream or your YouTube channel. And so I wanted to make this video to kind of follow up and show you guys what I do to get content on my Instagram using my computer. And there are a couple of reasons why you may wanna do that. Maybe you've got the content already edited on your computer, you don't feel like migrating it to a phone, or it may be like content that you edited video wise and you wanna just put it directly on your um, um, computer and then go ahead and get it that on Instagram without having to again you know migrate it to a phone and everything like that so anyway I'm gonna show you guys two ways to do this now the first one that I'm gonna show you is a little bit more simple but it is more limited you can basically only upload photos if you want to upload stuff a little bit more complicated like a slideshow of photos or you want to upload videos from your computer to Instagram you'll want to refer to the second part of the video I'll have a little chapter select thing down there there'll be timestamps in the description if you you know only need to see one of those but first off I'll show you this because it is the fastest way but like I said it is a little bit uh, more restricted so we've got my Instagram page right here and I'm using my Google Chrome web browser um, that's the one that I would recommend for this so you'll want to go up here to the top right and go to your options and select more tools and go to developer tools and then it's gonna change your page to look a lot more like this. And you'll notice that it looks like a mobile device and my mouse is kind of here to symbolize what you know a finger would look like hovering over the screen. You can click on stuff and you can pretty much use Instagram like normal as if it were on a phone, but you're on your computer right now. Um, now you may notice that even if I go to like the homepage, we're not seeing an upload button or anything like that just yet. Um, so what you'll want to do is, of course, make sure up here that your device type is selected to, you know, usually I just keep it at the iPhone 10, but you can technically change the appearance here to a different um, different mobile device. But what you want to do is just actually refresh the page. And you should notice that now at the bottom, we've got the typical options that you see at the bottom of the Instagram mobile app. So we're going to go ahead and click the plus sign here to upload. And then it's gonna go ahead and upload, or rather um, show us our directory. So right now this is just like a folder that I've got of a bunch of my you know, YouTube thumbnails and things like that. So we could just click you know, one of these thumbnails here and it's got the photo. We can drag it and do a couple of very simple things like this. We can you know, change the, uh, the aspect ratio, I guess, of the, the photo or the size here and do just a very couple of simple things. We can rotate it. As you can see, there's not really any of the editing tools at the bottom. So my main suggestion is that you use an external program. You can use GIMP, which is free. I'll have a link for that down in the description below. Um, or of course you can use Photoshop or even a lot of the built-in programs in Windows have some simple basic stuff, you know, like contrast and all that, and even some basic filters if you're wanting to do that to your picture. So just make sure that it's edited that the exactly the way that you like before you go here to Instagram and you should be good to go. You can go ahead and click next and type in your caption and you can do a couple of basic things like you can tag people and add a location but that's just about it as you can see there's no advanced settings or anything down here so um, it is a little bit more limited but it's extremely quick if you just need to throw a photo on instagram real quick you don't feel like doing it from your phone you can do all that right there if again it's a, a file that is easier to keep on your computer than getting on your phone and things like that then just go ahead and do it like that all right, so now we're gonna get into the other method. Now this method takes just a little bit more time and effort, but you've got a lot more options. You can upload slideshows or you can do videos from your computer, really pretty much anything that you could do on the actual mobile version of Instagram, you can do on your computer right here. So this is gonna involve using BlueStacks. It is an Android emulator. I'll have a link for it down in the description below. So once you go ahead and download that and install it, you'll go in here, you'll go to the Google Play Store, you'll search Instagram. You can even do the same with TikTok as you can see, and you download them and there you go. It's completely free. It's got some ads while you're using it, but you can pay for a premium version if you want. A lot of people use this to play mobile games as well, but personally, I just use it for social media uploads and things like that. So um, once you've gone into the Google Play Store, downloaded Instagram, you'll wanna go ahead and open up the app. As you can see, I've got it open right here. And you should be able to notice immediately, this looks a lot more like your normal Instagram, you know, than the, the Google Chrome did. We've got all our stuff down here at the bottom and we're good to go. So. What we'll wanna go ahead and do is click the plus button to go ahead and upload our photo. And as you can see, it already is playing a video there that I've got. And you'll notice this is different. It's actually got a little bit of a library over here. And these are photos that I've specifically told BlueStacks that I want it to like keep on file and, and use. So the way that we'll do this and what we'll decide as uh, photos or videos that we can upload is we'll want to go ahead and go up here to gallery and we'll go to other. 
and it's gonna go ahead and change the view here. So you'll wanna go ahead and go to pick from Windows and it's gonna go ahead and open up your pictures file directory. And as you'll notice, it's only gonna show images. And even if you click on this where it says image files, you can't change it to say all files or anything like that. You're kind of stuck with that. And so it, it's really weird why it's like this at first. Um, but what you need to go ahead and do if you wanna upload videos is click cancel and it'll you know take a second to load here. And then I go ahead and go back to the Instagram tab and give that just a second there and then go back to the media manager tab and then it changes the view up entirely. And now when you click import from Windows, it'll actually open up your, your file directory. And if I were to go to videos, then as you can see, I've got all my videos over here. It's already set to all files and we can actually upload videos. So we can pick a file over here. So like, for example, you know, we could choose this, um, this clip that I've got here from my, uh, from my Twitch stream a, a long time ago. This was from a community game night and there we go. Now we've got that video on here and we can go ahead and click on that and it'll play the clip. Now, when we go back to Instagram and we're ready to go, we can go ahead and hit the escape key and let's go ahead and close this out real quick. And now let's open this back up. And as you can see, it is here inside our directory. We've got that clip. We can do, you know, the basic resizing and stuff like that. Um, and now of course we've got the option as well. We can go ahead and we can select this and we can do slideshows. We can do all that good stuff if you want to do that. So again, we've got more functionality. You click next, you can do your basic video editing and things like that. Again, we've got way more options here. We can actually apply filters. We can trim, we can do all that good stuff. Literally anything you could do on the mobile version, you can do here on Bluestacks. But anyway, guys, that is it for this video. I hope that I was able to help you out today. And if I was, I hope that you consider subscribing to the channel if you're not already, or maybe joining the Discord server. I am working towards a thousand subscribers here on YouTube and also a thousand followers on Twitch. So links for all that will be down in the description below. Would really appreciate any help that you guys would consider giving towards those goals. That would really, really mean a lot to me. Or at the very least, if you did enjoy this video or I helped you out today, please consider giving the video a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down in the comments below or if there's anything else that you'd like to see me cover in a future video but other than that guys thank you so much for tuning into this video i hope you have a nice day and goodbye